We're salvaging the prump pool fish out of Spring Mountain Ranch State Park. This was the largest population of fish for a long period of time, but recently we've run into troubles with invasive species here. At times it's been between 10,000 or even up to 30,000 fish. And uh, within the last few years, I think in 2012, um, we found crayfish here. And then uh, this past year we found mosquito fish. And recent surveys have shown that the population is probably under 1,000 fish here. And that we think that if left in here, that we would lose this population if we didn't do something. Our role is to collect population monitoring information, conduct small-scale habitat restoration, and also to provide technical assistance for recovery of these species. It's only found here in Southern Nevada, nowhere else in the world. It has existed here anywhere from 10,000 to 13,000 years, and it's evolved to live in a very extreme, small environment. And that's pretty remarkable for a species to do that and to survive for that long. The Prump Pool fish was originally found in one spring in the Prump area. They're a small fish. They're about two to three inches in size. Prump Pool fish lived in a habitat that was a near constant 75 degrees and flowed consistently year round. Below 75 degrees, the pool fish go into a hibernative state, and so they will actually just lay there on the bottom, and that's when they're more susceptible to, to invasive species eating them. So the invasive species eat the eggs, they eat the smaller fish, and they can eat the adults. They also eat the food that the larger fish rely on. In the 1960s, uh, the, the prump pool fish um, was listed under the Endangered Species Preservation Act. In 1980, the Fish and Wildlife Service uh, officially came out with a recovery plan, which uh, set measurable goals and objectives to address the threats to the species. The Nevada Department of Wildlife is probably one of our strongest partners. When it comes to prump pool fish, they're endangered species, but they're also state protected, so we share a lot of common goals in trying to preserve this species. Having partnerships are amazing. Um, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service provides us with our data and our expertise. Um, they're also great at, at maintaining databases for us and they're great assistance in the field as well. So far we've salvaged 162 individuals after a week's long salvaging effort. We're at the Lake Mead Fish Hatchery, owned and operated by the Nevada Department of Wildlife. We kind of made the decision that instead of risk losing that population to non-native fish, that we'd bring them here and try to maintain the populations and its genetics. So we brought them here and we have a makeshift tank set up for them. And so we're going to hold them here and hopefully try to propagate them while we're restoring Lake Harriet and getting rid of non-native fish. The biggest thing people can do to help the prone pool fish is just, you know, kind of recognize the areas that have been set aside for them and look at alternatives instead of dumping a pad or clearing out your backyard pond and releasing them somewhere. The last thing you want to do is introduce it back into an environment that it's not meant to be in. The end goal is that we would release prompt pool fish back into Spring Mountain Ranch State Park. I mean, it's been a great refuge for them that once we can remove non-native species from there, they would do well again. It's been extremely damaging for the state of Nevada and for maintaining these sites that people like to enjoy and fish species that are extremely rare heritage to, to Southern Nevada. And if we get rid of these habitats or get rid of these species, we may not know what we lose in the future.